right on. It's another shoe review. Um, these are on the Stray shoe. It's a relatively new skater shoe, Global Penetration Hollywood. Um, you got a couple cool writers on there, Jamie Thomas, Yaku Johnson, um, all in all, these were, I'm really stoked to have these, I didn't even know about it, it was actually, uh, my family, I mean, I've seen them around, but I just didn't, um, really, like, observe them, my, my sister, had got them for me, and I was, uh, really stoked, um, they look really durable, um, they look a lot, like, meatier than they feel they feel like a slip on but um one thing i really like is this little um tab right here it says it has different um sayings for different shoes but on this one it says need content and um the other ones has different but it actually serves a functional purpose that like you may feel like you're in a slip on but this little tab will make you feel like you're in an actual shoe so it'll hold you in there pretty good one thing I have to say that I really like about these is they come in with the ash drop insoles, which have been really, really clutch um, in terms of insoles. I would say it's a little bit less um, impact protection than a FP. The insert ones, um, an FP insole that goes in a regular shoe, you know, and in a regular FP, um, I would say it's definitely better than that. Just because those uh, FP inserts are made uh, specifically to capitalize on the rubber in the FP shoe already. So all in all, I'm really stoked. I'm actually wearing the acid drop insoles in these right now. And just to test them out to like everyday walking and um, has been serving me really good. Right here, they have a pretty big ollie patch. And um, that's one set thing I will say about the creative rubber usage is uh, they don't really have seams right here, which is good. I don't really like when they have stiff seams because they usually end up ripping. All around here, right here, for the kickflip, and then right here, this has a little extra cushion before you even get to that seam. Right here, the ollie patch has served me really good. I'm regular footed, so this is the side I'm mainly wearing, but I haven't even got close. And uh, this is just some high speed ollie, so I'll probably do another review once I uh, try to tear it up. But um, so far, it's been a lot more durable. I'd say the bottom design really allows for a decent amount of board feel. It's not like uh, the waffle cone design, but it definitely feels like I'm fit wearing a slip on, but with all the benefits of a shoe. Like it feels like I have some ankle protection. It doesn't feel like my shoe is going to slip out. Um, the one thing I will say is the break-in period on these is a little bit, as you can see right now, they're not even that broken in. I would say right now they feel around perfect for me. I don't really like them to be, you know, super, super flexible. I know some people really enjoy when the shoes are like super, super flexible, but I will say the first day I didn't even skate in them. I just wore them just because it felt like I had a brick on my foot. Like it was completely just separate. Like it almost, it was, it was a little scary to hop on a board then, but one or two days of wearing out and then they just, it feels like butter. Um, honestly, all these, I feel like I can you know, push and tweak them out a little more. Um, speed is good. One thing is, is like, you feel like you're supported, even if you accidentally just hang off on the heel or, you know, if you land weird on your toe, you feel like there's a lot of um, support there in terms of you can stand on it, you can balance on one foot right. Um, I really like them for switch skating in that sense. Um, it's cool because the rubber, you would think, this little ollie patch would get in the way and I've seen other shoes or Adidas where like the, the rubber, it's a little too much, but I kind of like how they did it. It visually isn't too much, uh, but it adds just enough protection. And especially if you're learning ollies, if you're starting out learning ollies, this will be really useful because um, when you're learning ollies, you don't know how, about how much pressure to put into it. So you usually end up overcompensating, over scraping. Oh, I'm really excited for Stray and like the mentality of where they're coming from. They're really like trying to make it more for skaters, by skaters. The branding's really on point. I've always been a big fan of Lou Johnson. Um, he kind of just lives, you know, the lifestyle, talks it like he walks it. And he's all about one love, you know, just like, bringing more people into the skate community that maybe, you know, didn't know they wanted to skate. So if you're a skater that's actually trying to skate, you know, you want to skate, and you're like, fuck, I was sick of getting new shoes, and I'm like, oh, I got another hole, or these ones are getting looser, 
you wear these a couple days and you're like good to go. I'm just for real, like you're good for a while. Um, they don't get too, I'd say the suede is really good. Um, I would recommend it to a friend for sure, especially if you're a beginner. Um, but I mean, even for an advanced skater, I feel like you can get a lot of use out of just not having to worry about your shoe. Like I'm, I'm kind of excited to see, to take these to the limit. I don't think I'm gonna use shoe glue on them for a while. I'm just gonna skate them as hard as I can and um, see how far they can go. Cause I'm actually pretty confident in, uh, you know, their ability. I mean, they built them for skaters by skaters. We definitely have to rate these, ooh, I would say an eight, 8.5, 8.5. Um, but mainly due to the break-in period. Um, the break-in period might scare a couple people away. I would definitely not just buy it. Like, oh, look, I got new skate shoes. Let's hit the park. You're probably not going to have a good time. Because I really did feel some separation. Like, I, there's like almost ghost foot going on when I first put these on. But when you do, when you do wear them, they wear nice because they wear in stages. Like, you, I feel right now I got a pretty newish shoe. But I feel like in the future, it's going to be like a whole, like a different kind of better. Like not necessarily better, but because it'll be more flexible, more grippy, it'll be like a different kind of shoe. So in that sense, it has like two lives. And I really enjoy that, that it has like a second life, that it's going to transform into a shoe that's more pliable. And right now it's kind of got like a little board feel, a little bit of stiffness. So 8.5 8 out of 10 is a solid shoe. I would definitely get again the price point. You, you actually can't beat it for the price point. The price point actually out there, you, you actually can't beat it. With the insoles too, and I honestly thought the insoles were pretend. Uh, they took a little while to, to warm up. I mean by warm up, I mean, they, usually those insoles work with heat activated. So once you wear them in, your foot gets molded to them, they actually start feeling really good. And I would say that alone makes these shoes worth it. I'm interested to see how long the acid drop insole just lasts me in general because right now it's feeling great. So, I mean, I'd say you should pick up a pair even if it's just to support the homies. I mean, Bo Johnson is a fucking man, dude. So, yeah, uh, holla, holla, holla back, uh, keep it real. Dixon himself also rides for Shrey, and don't forget Dane Vaughn. Also, the best thing about this brand of shoes, they sell vegan shoes. For those of you out there who actually care like me, they actually made a vegan skate shoe, which is pretty fucking crazy. And yeah. Dane Vaughn is the man.